All right, y'all. So I'm about to show you guys another way to fix your horn. If you troubleshoot your horn and you find out it's your clock spring in here is bad, if you get no no sound from your horn, first thing you want to do, you want to take off this piece of black plastic right here. I already removed mine, so all you got to do is just remove the screws. You got like uh, three screws on the bottom, and you got one here, and there's another one on the other side. Okay? Alright, so you remove this black piece right here. This is just a cover. Alright, so after you remove that black piece, then you're going to see your clock spring harness. This is the harness that that uh, attached to your clock spring. You unplug this, right? After you unplug this, then um, from this side right here, you wanna you wanna go you wanna go to the fourth to the fourth arm um, wire. You got the white one here. You got the green one here. You got a gray one and another gray one. It's the second gray one, right? Um, it's the second gray one, right? So let me show you what to do. All right, so all right, so let me show you what to do. I've got my little. This is from my multimeter, so I'm gonna probe the fourth wire right here. I'm gonna probe it. Make sure it's in there good. All right, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna ground it in the back right here on this. See that? Okay, so you got heard that I try to try to let it to go again but my probe slipped out what I'm gonna do I'm gonna strip this fourth wire right here the one that we probe earlier to make the horn work I'm gonna strip it then I'm gonna attach I'm gonna attach a piece of this wire on it we're gonna take this uh, let's use uh, which is this let's see which one I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the shortest one. All right, so I got this wire attached to it. Now I'm gonna take some electrical tape and I'm gonna wrap it around it to secure it properly. All right, so I got that wrapped around. I'm gonna take this wire right here and I'm gonna ground it on this ground screw. This is the same screw that I was touching earlier to make the horn work when I was probing the harness. Alright, so we're going to tighten that down in there. Now it looks a little shabby because I got one hand on the camera and the other hand um, doing my thing. So, yes, I know it looks a little shabby, but it's grounded. It's just a horn. That's all it is. It's just a horn, so I'm not trying to make it look perfect yet. All right, so the other end, guys. Now I can touch the other end, and my horn will work. See that? But um, I'm going to take it a step further, guys. I'm going to use my interrupter switch. All right, so I got to interrupt the switch here. Came in this package where I, I came in this package here. I got it from uh, um, Advanced Auto. So um, if I put one end on this, oh, well, let me put this camera down a little bit. So I got the um, wires on the terminal of this interrupt the switch. And uh, when I press the switch, my horn will work. All 
All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the switch right here. I'm gonna put the switch right here. And so I'm gonna take my drill, I'm gonna plug it in my inverter. Yeah, I got this this um, hole drilled, but it looks like you wanna um, widen a little bit. So I'm gonna try and see if I can widen it out a little bit. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is put this wire down in here, then I'm going to plug in back my harness and the clock spring. Some of the functions on my clock spring still work, so I'm going to plug it back in after I fish this wire down here. Okay, so the back screw for the interrupter switch is on the inside, so when I push this in, That's how it look. And this is some glue I think is on here. All right, so now I got the switch in place. And the horn is working beautifully. Now I'm gonna plug this clock spring switch back in here because some of the functions still work on the steering wheel. So, now we're looking good. I'm going to put on back this black piece right here and we're all set. Anyway, guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Nice.